through the, my first year of college, you had they used to put up on, on the board um, places that are looking for apprentices, and you have the odd interview, and it was a, f a friend of the family that well recommended Andy, and uh, we sort of I I said he said send him a um, send him in your CV and the letter, and it all. That's that's just all went from there. I was quite nervous at first. Well, more to do with that I've done a, done my first year at college, but I didn't really. I wasn't sort of knowing what I was doing. Like first year of college, you just do the basic things and coming here and you, you didn't use any machinery and you've seen all the machinery. One day a week, you go to college and you do. You make a door, a window. You have a you have a. Um, uh, a portfolio to follow that you have to complete and then you're also given your MVQ which you bring into work you write about stuff you've done at work and get your form and sign it off to prove that you've done it you take that back in we're bespoke joiners so from doors windows cabinets staircases anything and everything really I think when we get a, a, any bit of complex joinery so anything with a curve in a mould, a different mould, something that's a bit more, a bit more challenging. That it's not something that you're going to walk into and and be good at straight away. I think it it, it takes time to learn for starters. You're not you're not going to just be able to get on with it. Getting used to doing stuff with wood, it's not the easiest thing to work with. The best part is um, at the end of the day, sort of looking at what you've made and thinking, wow, I've made that. That's what I've just made.